Hi, I'm Jennifer Graham, and I'm here to tell you about a program, a fantastic program, that has had a dramatically positive impact on my life, and I'm sure it can do the same for you. I'm sure you've heard of the movie The Secret, a documentary by Rhonda Byrne, in which she talks about the law of attraction and how we can use that to create the life that we, we desire. Well, after I saw The Secret, I really wanted to look more into it and to learn more about how I could really, really fine-tune my skills on the life, law of attraction and apply it to my life. So I did some research on the teachers that were featured in The Secret, and I came across the SGR program, which stands for Science of Getting Rich. It is a program put together, together by Bob Proctor, who is one of the teachers featured in The Secret. Now, for me, the science of getting rich is more than just being rich with money. It means being rich in your relationships. It being, means being rich spiritually in all aspects of your life. So for me, it's had the dr most dramatic impact in my life as far as getting me, to, getting me through one of the most painful times in my life, which is what I was told that my child has, as, has autism. And this was something I didn't see coming at all. It was a, I had a very healthy pregnancy. It was a full-term baby. The baby was happy, healthy, full of life at birth. And at the age of two, the child could recite all the presidents. If you held up a map of the United States, the child could name every state. But then all of a sudden, at the age of three, my child could no longer say mommy or daddy and started slurring all other words and, and couldn't pronounce certain uh, words that the child was able to say and then I was getting calls from the preschool telling that my child was very um, acting very strangely in school and I was observing things at home about my child that I didn't understand so you know we took the child to the pediatrician the pediatrician was sympathetic but couldn't tell us what was wrong with the child and didn't know where to point us to you know as far as where we could go to get help for the child and this continued throughout the elementary school years the behavioral issues and teachers were calling with concerns and it, it was just years of going back and forth from one doctor to the next and finally I found a doctor who told me that my child has Asperger's syndrome, which is a form of autism. It's on the spectrum of autism disorders. And as, as, as hard as it was to hear this, there was a part of me that was relieved because I was like, well, now I finally can get the help that my child needs and uh, we can deal with these behavioral issues. But unfortunately, that wasn't the case. Now I just had a name attached to my child, but still nobody could tell me how to deal with the behavioral issues, how to help my child, or and I didn't know anybody else had been through the situation, so I just felt very alone. It was almost like being in a situation where you're in a crisis situation, but there's no 911. So that's when I really started to, to think about this situation because it was, it was really taking its toll on me. I was just getting very stressed out to the point where it was affecting my health. So I, I remembered how I had many times throughout my career as a television news reporter had used the law of attraction to attract certain jobs that I want, wanted. So I felt if it's helped me professionally, it could also work in my personal life. So that's when I uh, really started to reflect and I really started to you know, look into these principles that are found in the SGR program because the SGR program um, teaches you more than just the law of attraction. It also tells you about the other laws of the universe and again, how to apply those to ultimately to create the life you want. So one of those is the law of polarity, which means if a situation can be viewed as very bad, then there also, also has to be something very good about it. So that's when I really started, I sat in silence and started to reflect on this whole situation and I had, you know, thought about all the years and years of hearing all these things from teachers about my child that wasn't easy to hear, but you could tell by the looks on their faces and you could hear it in their voices that they genuinely care about my child and want what's best for my child and I could really feel the love that was surrounding us and that instantly changed my vib vibration which in turn changed what I was attracting into my life. And what happened after that was is, is really amazing because at that point then people started appearing in my life who knew about programs that could be beneficial to my child so we immediately got involved in those programs and then my child's behavior started for the first time changing for the better in school. Teachers were getting uh, more encouraged about the behavior. Pri previously they had thought well maybe my child um, shouldn't be in mainstream schooling, but after seeing the changes that my child was making, they, they were starting to get more hopeful as well. So that was good news. There was still though an issue with my child's classmates because they had been so um, 
this behavioral issue had been going on for my child for so long that they didn't know what to make of it. So the children had been keeping their distance from my child for quite some time, and especially at lunchtime. His, the, my, my child's other classmates would be speaking in their you know, various conversations, but not including my child. And so it was at that point that I, I decided, well, now it's time for me to teach my child how to use the law of attraction. So what I did was that night at bedtime, I had my child, I said, close your eyes. I said, I want you to visualize yourself in the lunchroom with other students, uh, other, you know, your other classmates talking and laughing, and everybody's having a good time, and I want you to really feel what that would feel like. And I could tell by my child's body language and the way my child was moving that my child had really felt as if, uh, you know, the, uh, being in the situation of being surrounded by all these friends. Now, I did not tell my child what the law of attraction was. I did not tell my child why we're doing the visualization because I figured, you know, these children had been so used to staying away from my child for so long that this was going to take some time to correct and that it, it couldn't be changed overnight. That, that's what I felt. I didn't have those types of expectations and I didn't want my child to have those types of expectations because if it didn't happen, then I was afraid that my child would be really disappointed. So the next day when my child came home from school, I said, what happened in the lunchroom? You know, how, how did it go? I just, yeah, you know, I was very casual about it. And my child said, oh, it was great. My best friend invited me to come sit at the lunch, room, the, the, um, lunch table with all my other friends and we're all talking and having a good time. And I, I, th I thought to myself, I thought, wow. <laughs> I was like, that's amazing, but it's awfully fast. And I was like, I said, well, well, how did that happen? Because just the day before, nobody was talking to my child. And so my child explained to me that the children um, in the class had all behaved very well. And so the teacher said, you can sit with anybody in your grade that you'd like to. See, normally my child would have to stay with the class. Each class would eat separately among themselves. But this time, you know, since they behaved so well, the teacher said they could sit with anybody in, you know, from a... Um, any class as long as it's in the same grade. So the children that invited my child to sit at the table with them were children that had been friends with my child in previous years, but they didn't really, um, so they hadn't really seen how my child had been behaving this particular school year. And they probably didn't remember or either were unaware of my child's behavior, you know, most recent behavioral issues. So, um, so really the universe had realigned itself based on my child's vibration. So um, even though the classmates were more or less keeping their distance, other classmates that were open to a friendship with my child suddenly became available. I was overjoyed, but so I have to admit I was a little, I was just like, I, I didn't, I was just a little frightened, I guess you could say, only because I was like, wow, this is scary that it can work so good. You can find results so soon. So I didn't even do this um, visualization for a few weeks. Then I waited, tried it again with my child, took my child through the same visualization and came home with the same results. Only this time, the children that were in my child's class who had just weeks before been ignoring my child were the ones that were coming to my child, op you know, opening up to my child, approaching my child for friendship. So the, I found that amazing because these were kids that were actually in my child's classrooms who, who for most of the year had been keeping their distance were now reaching out for friendship with my child. So. It, it really does work in all situations, especially personal life. Um, any challenges really can be reversed just by changing your vibration. And it all has to do with the law of attraction. The vibration that you're in determines what you attract into your life. And this whole situation with my child and the diagnosis is something that's very painful and I normally don't talk about it. But the reason I'm sharing it now is because I just feel that this can help so many other people and I feel if, if it can do this for me, it can do this for you, whatever your challenges are. And you know, if you're somebody that's interested in changing your life and making the law of attraction work for you to so that you're only attracting what you want into your life, I would really love to, to hear from you so that I can help you and I can sh you know, we can share experiences with each other, we can laugh together, we can cry together. Just again, so um, we can utilize this to create the life that we desire because I just want people to know you're not stuck with your circumstances. If there's a circumstance in your life that you don't like, it's not like you have to sit there and take it. You know, you can it can be turned around, and that's why I'm sharing my story.